According to the World Health Organization, or the WHO, pollution is one of the world's biggest global killers, affecting over 100 million people yearly and comparable to diseases like malaria and HIV. In El Paso, a new deal is in the works to create a new industrial gas plant under the label Newman 6. Despite its economic opportunity, there are many concerns over its industrial pollution. In El Paso, plants like the infamous Sasarco have long affected the community, and some of the pollutions of those days are still felt today. More research and thought should be put into the Numa 6 deal, and cleaner solutions must be found. El Paso's infamous polluted history, JP Morgan's past deals, the contract company for the deal, and industrial pollution's effect on the planet should all serve as indicators of heavy, heavy concern today. Firstly, unfortunately, this isn't El Paso's first rodeo with industrial pollution. Unfortunately, El Sarco's lead levels in the early 1900s in El Paso led to severe health issues to children and adults alike. According to the National Resources Defense Council, lead in the air or dust, paint, and fumes can work into the human body. In children, lead can permanently damage the brain and the nervous system as well. This was found in El Paso and was the highest in the U.S. at the time. It is imperative that El Paso does not repeat past mistakes. Secondly, J.P. Morgan's filing for a new gas plant is based on money, not the environment. There is no such thing as clean natural gas, which many have used to defend J.P. Morgan's filing for their new plant. According to Oil Change International, climate goals require the energy sector to be decarbonized by mid-century. This means that both coal and gas must be phased out by 2025. Replacing coal plants with new gas plants will not cut emissions by nearly enough, even if methane leakage is kept to a minimum. Gas plants used as a substitute to coal and nuclear energy is no real alternative, just a replacement of the same product, and JP Morgan knows that. El Paso is, according to recent studies, one of the top 10 sunniest cities in the entire United States, and yet our solar energy production is still extremely low. That is another example of how our resources are just not being used. Third, the facts on industrial pollution are crystal clear. Industrial pollution has affected millions, and it would be smart for El Paso to not become another victim to major air pollution and beyond. Industrial pollution to this day is one of the leading causes of death in the world, usually being noticed only when it's too late or simply being ignored, especially in less developed countries. And the ones that get the short end of the straw the most are children. According to the WHO, while children only make up 10% of the world's population, over 40% of the global burden of disease and industrial pollution falls on them. More than 3 million children under age five die annually from these environmental factors, especially gas pollution and coal pollution. Those types of numbers will continue to rise and they will not be lowered if plants like the J.P. Morgan's proposed deal are allowed to be built, simply joining the problem on air, land, or sea. And for the foreseeable future, it looks like this will be the case. Right. To conclude this documentary, better energy usage solutions should be found in El Paso. El Paso's history, natural gas's contribution to the problem, and the facts on industrial pollution all show why there really should be more consideration and conversation on the subject. I hope after today, all of you become more interested in the Newman 6 deal and looking to help fight for cleaner energy solutions in El Paso and our global community. Not just for us, but all those after us that are gonna be affected by these pollutions. Thank you.